so I'm here with Kevin, uh, who's obviously Birdman from Rick and Morty. No, I'm just kidding. He's he's Hawkman from the Justice League of America. Yes, I am. Um, how long did it take you to come up with your costume? To come up with it, I had been plotting this for about six months, and then the wings themselves, uh, that was a separate six months, and then the rest of the armor, that was about three months, so about a grand total of maybe 1,500 to 2,000 hours worth of work. Wow, that's incredible. Yep. And uh, so what, ki what kind of materials did you use? What did you use for the, for the wings? Well, the wings, the, uh, as they articulate, they open and close. Uh, they have two 10 volt uh, linear actuators in them, which I up the voltage on that to 12 volts to make it move a little quicker. Uh, the skin of that is, or the, actually the, the skeleton, pardon me, is PVC pipe, uh, inch and a half PVC pipe, no, pardon me, in, one in, inch and a quarter PVC right. pipe. And then the feathers, the large feathers you see here that I have my hand on, yeah. that is fabric with three layers of stiffener and a, uh, a baling wire spine covered in about each one of these feathers were individually glued on about 1500 in total wow that's that's a lot of patience is, and a, and a, lot, was, a lot of attention to detail i had a, I had a <laughs> lot of nights with just me a glue gun and feathers wow. and all of these are individually glued on and it's about 1500 on each on on that including on the back you didn't have any kids you can press into the <laughs> uh no <laughs> not one i could not one i would say come here come here here's a hot glue gun we're gonna have some fun yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, that's cool. And how about your helmet? The helmet is all uh, EVA foam. Okay. Uh, I made a model. Pardon me. A took a pattern off of my head, which uh, I had uh, I had made a cast of my head once before, when I decided I, okay I want to do cosplay a lot, not professionally but just a lot. Sure. So I made a cast of my head and used that as a pattern to make the helmet. The wings were just kind of trial and error. I just finally found something that I liked that looked like what I was trying to mimic. Yeah. And uh, the rest of it was just kind of molding and shaping uh, the foam to look like a hawk beak, including putting that little tip on the front there, right. which was uh, three attempts at that before I got it right. Yeah, yeah. Pe people don't realize getting corners on that type of material is not easy. And, 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 not, and not having the seam shell. Yeah. That's what you want. You want it to be seamless. It's supposed to look like, you know, hammered metal. And if you see this giant seam. Yeah games up but yeah so that was a lot, a lot how about of your le leather pieces here this was my first attempt working with leather i've made everything except my pants and my boots i made oh awesome so this yeah. was my first attempt with leather uh i bought just bare leather a whole giant long piece of leather and i just started cutting and cutting a lot of trial and error mostly error uh until i found uh, a way i to do it that i liked i found a nice uh nice two millimeter leather that was very easily shaped and very easily dyed and then did um, the uh, edging there. Yeah, and yeah, that's some incredible separate, detail there. And then just separate dyeing it out. Uh, the pouches, again, just tried and tried again. This pouch where the controller is for the actuators, this I had to, I, I had to basically come up with a concept yeah. of how I can do it to keep it on there because I didn't want to have something in my hand or constantly right. be doing this. I just want to be right. able to click and go. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. And uh, how about your mace? The mace was what I did last. This was again all EVA foam. I wanted it to. I'm just gonna drop it. Uh, I wanted it to look like nth metal, which is what Hawkman uses. So I wanted it to have uh, look like it had energy. So managing about 200, uh, pardon me, 100 feet of LEDs. Oh wow! In there. Nice. Is that is that a Christmas light or? It is Christmas lights, and I just liked the shape of the controller for it. And like yeah. this can look like the base of a weapon. Yeah. So PVC pipe, EVA foam, so it's all very soft. It's yeah. very safe. Um, it's not going to hurt anybody. And this at the bottom of it, when I just painted it, the brass, the same layer of brass of the rest yeah. of it, it just looks like it's part of it. So most people don't even think that, oh, it's the controller for it. And there are the batteries. Yeah. Um, and same deal. I took a... a, a just a giant softball I had, yeah. or like a, one of my kids' balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my kids' plank, uh, like kickballs kind yeah, of yeah. thing. Covered it, made a pattern off of that, and then just went at it. That's incredible. Yeah. So. So what are your what are your biggest lessons learned from this costume? This seems like like you really pushed yourself here on this costume. A lot of lessons learned. For me, my the biggest thing for me is whenever I do cosplay, I want to push myself to the next thing I want to try, to the next thing that fascinates me. Um, I was very interested in. Uh, doing something that articulated, something that moved, 
and I wanted to try and do something that terrified me, which was leather. I'm, right. I do mainly armor. So what I learned is, is that push yourself, go out there and just try new things because you you may not be great at it at first, but you will get better, you will uh, get more experience, and you may end up liking it. I yeah. now love leather. That's great. It was great fun playing with, and my next project is going to incorporate more leather because it was just so much fun to do. Cool. It was great fun. Well, thank you for talking to me and good luck. Thanks.